What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another two-minute tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, we're learning how to aerial track, as you saw from the beginning of the video, all inside of After Effects, so let's get started. So as you can see inside of After Effects, we have my finished composition, which is kind of cool. It's this 4K clip I downloaded from Videoblocks, stock footage website. We'll have our footage inside of After Effects right here. I'm going to right click and do new comp from selection, which opens up a new composition inside of After Effects, makes it really easy. Then inside the layer panel down here in After Effects, I'll right click the footage and then go to uh, track and stabilize and then track camera. Now it's analyzing the footage in the background. Now once that finishes, uh, but in your effect controls inside of After Effects, go to window and effect controls, you'll see this 3D camera tracker has appeared. Click this little button right here called create camera and you'll find a point, three points on After Effects and click on what you want. So I chose somewhere around here and we'll right click and then create text. Boom, it's actually tracked to a 3D camera inside of After Effects. From here what I would do is I grab the text, it's a 3D layer now, I'll hold W on my keyboard and I would actually like move it around until it looks and if you can't dial it in perfectly with W and your mouse, drop down on this, drop down on this, and you can actually manually move it. And just like that, we're going to retype this and call this 3, not hashtag, 3D track. And it gives us a little more leeway of moving it around. If we play this back, we can see that it's pretty pretty well done from that 3D track. Now what I did before is I just duplicated this 3D track, Command D or Control D on your keyboard, um, if you're PC or Mac. Um, the bottom layer right here, I click on this, and I actually move it down a little bit. Hit, hit V on our keyboard or the selection tool right here. Move it down and move it under a little bit. Then I change the text to black. Um, we go to effects and presets, window, effects and presets. Type in blur in your effects and presets, and I went to Gaussian blur. Dropped it on this bottom 3D track layer, and I in the effect controls, and for the blur, I turned it up a whole lot. And then I hit T on my keyboard while this layer was selected, opens up the opacity, and I turn it down a little bit to give it like just a little bit of a dark shadow. It's not perfect, but I mean it looks looks alright. And 3D tracked. There you go. That is how you create this really quick 3D track inside of After Effects. As always, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.